My dear listeners, God has a secret message for you today, so don't miss this important message. Watch this message till the end. God says, My dear child, tomorrow is the dawn of a new beginning. God has instilled within each of us unique gifts, strengths, and a purpose that transcends our fears and doubts. The time has come for you to let go of any masks that may shield you from truly embracing who you are. In God's eyes, you are beautifully and wonderfully made. You have a light that the world desperately needs to see. Exposing your true self is not about revealing secrets, but about revealing your heart, your compassion, and your God-given strengths. It's about letting the world see the divine spark within you. Tomorrow, when you step forward with courage, remember that you are not alone. God walks with you, blessing every step and guiding every word. Be kind to yourself in this process and remember, the truth of who you are is a gift, one that the world deserves to know. Share it with humility, love, and grace, and let your authenticity inspire others. Go forth, and let your light shine in the name of God's boundless love and grace. Amen. God says, Dear child, listen carefully to what I am about to say, for these words are very important. Tomorrow your life will change drastically and things will change in unexpected directions. From tomorrow onwards you will not be the same person you are today. People's view of you will change completely. They used to look at you with kindness and trust. Now, some may look at you with questioning eyes, not knowing if it is you or what you mean to them. Yes, that's right. Tomorrow others' view of you will change. They may question your actions, decisions, or even the goodness of your heart. But remember, beloved, behind all this I am your Creator and I am working on something much greater than you can imagine. You may be confused and scared, wondering what will happen tomorrow that will make such a big difference. You may ask, What God? has planned and what he is planning to do that will make others question me even though they know me so well, but, just wait for it, everything will become clear in time. Soon your questions will find answers and the worries that are clouding your mind will disappear. For now, I just ask one thing of you, trust me. I know waiting is hard, especially when you're feeling anxious and wondering what's going to happen. But that's exactly what I need from you right now. Trust my plan. Guard your heart. Jesus said, In the world today, there is a deep hunger for authenticity, a yearning to know what is real and true. Too often, we hide our true selves, wearing masks that we think will protect us or make us more accepted by others. But I tell you, my beloved, that each one of you was created in the image of God with a unique purpose and light to share. Let this be the day you reveal your true self to the world, not with fear or shame, but with the knowledge that you are deeply loved and valued by your Creator. Many of you may wonder why you, or others around you, feel the need to hide. It is part of human nature to want acceptance, to be free from judgment, to feel loved, and to avoid rejection. Some of you may feel unworthy, burdened by past mistakes or weighed down by struggles that seem too heavy to bear. You may think that showing your true self would make you vulnerable or expose you to hurt. But remember, my children, that vulnerability is not weakness. It is, in fact, the greatest strength. When you live in fear of judgment, you allow others' opinions to shape your identity instead of finding your worth in God's love. By hiding, you keep the world from experiencing the unique gifts and light you have within. And as each of you holds back, the collective beauty, compassion, and purpose of humanity become diminished. God created you not to be hidden, but to shine brightly. To embrace your true self is to recognize the God-given gifts and qualities within you. 
It is to accept that you are loved unconditionally and that there is nothing you can do to be separated from God's love. Let go of the need for others to approve or validate you. Your Creator has already declared you worthy. Today, I invite you to step forward without shame or fear. Look within yourself and find those parts you have kept hidden, whether it be talents, dreams, struggles, or fears. Acknowledge them, accept them, and be willing to share them openly. This isn't an easy journey, but it is one that leads to freedom and joy. Showing your true face doesn't mean you have to tell everyone your secrets or air your deepest challenges. It means letting your actions, words, and heart be in alignment with who you truly are. Speak truthfully, love openly, and serve others with the gifts God has given you. Showing your true face is about living with integrity, compassion, and love. It's about making choices that align with your values and treating others as you wish to be treated. When you do this, you show the world the face of God reflected in you. You reveal that divine spark within you and you invite others to do the same. Each one of you was created with a unique purpose. You may feel lost or uncertain of what that purpose is, but I assure you, God has a plan for your life. This plan is not a rigid path but a call to live in love, kindness, and truth. You are here to bring light to the darkness, to be a source of hope, and to show others that there is a path to joy and peace. When you reveal your true self, you inspire others to do the same. You create a ripple effect that can change lives, heal hearts, and build a world rooted in compassion and understanding. Never underestimate the power of your light, however small or dim it may seem. The world needs your authenticity, your kindness, your courage, and your love. I ask you, beloved child, to take this message to heart. Trust that you are enough just as you are, and that there is nothing to fear. God knows your heart, your struggles, and your triumphs, and He loves you through it all. So, let go of the masks, the fears, and the doubts. Stand before the world as the person you truly are, a reflection of divine love and grace. Tomorrow, and every day forward, may you live with courage and faith. Show your true face to the world. Be a beacon of love, compassion, and purpose. And remember, you are never alone. God is with you, and so am I. In love and light, according to your zodiac sign, Aries Leo, a higher power will protect you. You have a business. You've been feeling a bit single lately. You have the initiative to focus on yourself and work on a business that will make you money. Listening to how 40 days and 40 nights stack up. If it's not their purpose to pay you, then don't care what he or she said. There's no need to waste your meal on this, dealing frequently with people who will never understand your opinion. Stay away from mixing. You will soon see why God separated you from the individual in. They needed to be isolated in order to be heard and see their next steps clearly. Hate comes with the territory. When they talk down to you, you are obviously doing the right thing and have something you absolutely want. Beware that anything from will be blown partially out of hand. Now is the time to take small steps instead of giant leaps. Stop trying to take on more than you can handle. Stay true to your own mission, your wants and needs, and what others want from you. You are true to those who are true to you. Be new, think new, and be open to new things. Because they are higher powered, there is a replacement plan for, but you need to make space for it. If plan A doesn't work, go to plan B. If you are willing to write out a plan, go to plan C. If you can't execute the plan with them, ignore them. Either you will crash or the will flip or roll over. They are a pain to get through but the principles behind 
certain situations. Aquarius Libra Gemini I, you have people who think deeply when things happen. Many of you are overthinking how you should handle it and may want to repeat your mistakes. There are 4,444 people around you who are jealous of other people's sex. They simply cannot accept what is given to them and are or have to bet big companies. Dollars. It's not up to you, it's up to you. You've held yourself together through all the hardships you've been through. You've been through it all and you feel like you're going through it again. Yes, and hashtag D44 it may be unexpected, but you handled it with grace. I'm tired of the pain you go through to get to the top, baby, you don't need anyone to vouch for you, except you. You were made for this. Rome wasn't built in a day. Neither will your success. Forget people's opinions. There are people who hold on to the old version and the past. Stories about it. You are not who you really are. Today they demand your respect and hate you. They need to get to know you completely again. And the new you will not tolerate anything that makes you unbelievable. Sour. You check the people at the door and do not let them pass this passage anymore. The best thing you can believe, good or bad, is that they gave. Speeches. Is just starting to feel unwell. Health check. Dangerous encounters. Thanks for watching this video. Subscribe for more videos.